Well, hello and welcome to video number one in this four-part series, this video series of eight weeks to a leaner, stronger, happier, and healthier you. I'm Mike Thornton. I'm your fitness coach, your transformation coach, uh, and, and thank you for joining me in uh, video number one here today. The, the theme of video number one is really what I call the two biggest mistakes that we make every single year when it comes to New Year's resolutions. You know, because we get very excited in January. And this doesn't have to happen at New Year's. It can happen any time throughout the year, but we get really excited at points and say, all right, I'm finally going to do it. I'm finally going to take care of my health and my fitness, and I'm going to get in shape, and I'm going to lose weight, and I'm going to start lifting weights, and I'm going to start eating right. And there's two really common mistakes that we make. And mistake number one is that we try to do too much too fast. You just heard me rattle off a bunch of different things, that yeah, areas of focus, you know, uh, losing weight and lifting weights and maybe we're going to start running and you're going to train for a marathon and you're going to start eating right and, and, and we, we want to change everything that we can immediately. And that is mistake number one and we'll talk more about that in just a second, but mistake number two is that we keep waiting for the right circumstances. We keep waiting for uh, everything to be exactly where it needs to be for us to make that decision. And and those two things are tied together. If you can see the you know when if you get caught up and waiting for the ideal circumstances, it's because you believe that you've got to change everything at the same time. You see how that works? And because we think we have to make all these changes at the same time, we keep putting it off and putting it off and putting it off because it's never going to happen that way. It, you're, the stars will not all be aligned, if you will. You like that use of the word there, um, to where uh, the circumstances are going to be 100% perfect for you. Uh, so, you know, I want to talk a little bit more about these uh, in just a moment, but and, and actually introduce to you, give to you a gift called the five minute mindset that's going to change everything. It's going to rock your world. But I, I want to tell you a little bit about uh, the fact that I, this video almost didn't get made or it would have taken a lot longer to get made. Um, to be quite honest with you, I'm recording this from my desktop computer right now and I've got a built in microphone. But man, I had bigger plans. I saw this video being this high tech production. I've got it. You can't see it, but over here on this side of my office, I've got a green screen set up, and I've got a really high techy uh, JVC recorder over here that's it's high def and this and that. And uh, to be quite honest with you, I, I had um, done a couple takes with this high tech equipment in the green screen, and I went and I dropped in a background, and I didn't like how the background looked, and and uh, I couldn't quite get the lighting the way that I wanted it, and I couldn't quite, you know, get the sound quality the way that I wanted it, and and I kept putting it off and putting it off and putting it off because I had built up in my mind what I thought that this had to be, and it wasn't getting done, and I'm sure you can already see the parallel, you know. Finally, I said, what am I doing? I'm not even following my own advice. And so I used the five-minute mindset, which we're going to talk about in just a second. And I said, what's the quickest way for me to get this information out? And this was it. I don't, you know what? The quality might not be that great. You might be thinking, hey, you know, you, you could have done a lot better with this video production. But I'm okay with that because the goal was to get moving. The goal was to get the information to you. And that's what we're doing right now. And had I allowed myself to keep building this up for some ideal circumstances and tried to do too much, too fast, all in one you know, package video here, it wasn't going to happen. So by stepping back and allowing myself, giving myself the freedom to not have to be perfect, not have to be perfect at all, uh, I was able to take action. And that is something that... that I want to stress to you in this video and that you, we're going to cover in this four-part video series. I'm really excited to share this information with you. And that is, it's okay to do just a little bit. It's okay to do just a little bit when you're getting started. In fact, I've designed this entire eight-week course, Aligned Fitness Living. And I want you to think about those words for a second. Aligned Fitness Living. It was just going to be aligned fitness, but I wanted to add the living in there because that's an important part of what we're talking about. We are talking about living a fitness lifestyle, 
a lifestyle that has different areas of your life aligned to move you forward. And we're going to get more and more into that in this video series, but the, the key ingredient that I want to focus on right now for this particular video is what I call the five minute mindset. This is going to set you absolutely free. And the five minute mindset is something that can be applied to many different areas. And that's exactly what we do. We figure out how to apply this and the guidelines that we set up through our eight week boot camp that, that we can take you through, Aligned Fitness Living. It's an eight week course. Um, but right now, I want to tell you what that five minute mindset is. The five minute mindset simply says this. Let's, get, let's apply it to um, cardiovascular training, moving, as I call it, okay? Let's say that you've got built up in your mind, hey, you know, I've been wanting to really start a running program or run a marathon or I know I need to hit the pavement and get out there and but you've built it up to be something so huge that you've never gotten started okay or maybe it's just any type of exercise whatsoever maybe you think to yourself I've got to get to the gym I've got to get a gym membership then I've got to make sure I've got my clothes packed and then I got to drive to the gym and I got to walk through the parking lot and I got to go and change my clothes and then I got to get on an elliptical for 30 minutes and then I got to go lift weights for 20 minutes and then I got to change and I got to drive back. Do you see how big that seems and, and how that can keep you from taking any, any action whatsoever? And again, I mentioned it with the video that I, I'm putting together here as well. We do this in every aspect of our life. The mind is a very powerful thing, and we're going to talk about how to get an aligned mind as well in this program. But the five-minute mindset, let's take it and apply it to any exercise whatsoever. And this is how I start my clients on this very program. I want you to go outside your front door, and I want you to walk for five minutes. That's step one. I want you to walk for five minutes. Step two, if at the end of five minutes... You ask yourself, can I do another five minutes? If the answer is no, maybe you're in a time crunch that day. Maybe you're just not feeling it. Maybe uh, you're tired. It could be. Maybe if you're starting from scratch, five minutes might be a lot for you. Point being is if the answer is no, then you congratulate yourself on the, fa on the fact that you got out there and you did five minutes. Because guess what? You did do something. Five minutes does do something. You do burn calories. You do work your muscles. You do get your heart rate beating. Five minutes does something. And that's something you need to make sure you understand. Because we build it up in our minds so much that we've got to do that trip to the gym and all that stuff. That we think that if we don't do all of that, then we're not doing anything. Let me tell you something. As a fitness professional, I use the five minute mindset. I've gone to the gym before not wanting to be there not feeling it at all and I have uh, gone for five minutes and at the end of five minutes I've asked myself can I keep going and I don't want to and I leave yeah five minutes but I did five minutes that day and I did five minutes the next day and maybe the next day I did ten but I absolutely use this mindset because it works you can do five say it with me I can do five minutes go ahead try it I can do five minutes and it does do something. That's a truth that you have to let in. It is that it does something. Because if you think, ah, five minutes, what's that going to do? Then you're not, you're not buying in and you're not using the five-minute mindset. Okay? We got it? It does do something. I can do five minutes and it does do something. Now, here's something really cool that it does. Is if you're not in the mood or you're not feeling it or your energy is not where it needs to be. But you get out there for five minutes, guess what? Pretty soon, sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes your energy level raises up a little bit. Your mindset starts to change a little bit. You start to feel a little bit better. And when you get to that five minute mark and you say, can I do another five minutes? Then the answer is yes. And you do another five minutes, but you keep checking in every five minutes. You don't say, can I do another 15 miles? No, can I do another five minutes? And if you can, do it. And at the end of that five minutes, you ask yourself again, can I do another five minutes? Now, for week one, if you're going to start practicing this in, in week one, and, I, and please, let's get going, okay? If you start, then I do give you a cap. You can't do more than three five-minute segments, which is 15 minutes, okay? Because I don't want you to think, oh my God, this is going to go on and, and, and forever and ever and five minutes and five minutes and five minutes, and then you start to build it up too big. 
So we're going to put, put a little ceiling on there for week one, and it's five minutes. Can I do another five? Can I do another five? Fifteen minutes total. That's it. Now, again, I'm going to go back to step two. If the answer is no, then step three is to congratulate yourself on the five minutes that you just did and make sure you think five minutes does matter. I just did something, and I feel good about that. But again, if the answer is uh, yes, I can keep going, then you add another five minutes. And then again, the last step is to make sure that you cap it off. Hey, I'm going to do, you know, if I'm feeling really good, three segments. That way, at the end, you go, I had something left. I could have kept going. And guess what? Use it the next day. That's the five-minute mindset. And you can apply that to just about every area, fitness area in your life. And you might be thinking, well, what other areas are there? Ooh, I've got a lot to share with you. I've got a lot to share with you in this four-part series. But that this is my gift to you right now, the five-minute mindset. And, and if you're thinking to yourself, what's that going to do? What is that really going to do? You're talking to somebody that's been in the fitness prof the profession for 16 years now. And I have used this tool with myself and with clients, and it absolutely works. I see these people get results. Because what makes a fitness lifestyle... I'm going to slow down for a second because this is really important for you to grasp. What makes a fitness lifestyle, an aligned fitness living lifestyle, is that it's sustainable. And sustainability comes from up here, right? Up here is where we determine if something is sustainable or not. And so you need to get into the, I'm already leaking part of the program to you right here, you know, an aligned mind. One of the things that you must align yourself with is that for this particular example, five minutes does something. It does. It improves you. It improves you. And what you're going to hear me say a lot through this program is that this is not about perfection. You know, we try to do too much too fast, we talked about, or we wait for all the stars to align and everything to be right, okay? Because we think we have to be perfect. But this is not about perfection. Living a fitness lifestyle is not about being a perfect person at all because none of us are. Yet so many times we set ourselves up to be perfect. It's about planning around your imperfections and seeking progress. It's not about perfection. It's about planning around your imperfections because we have them. So we need to be aligned with certain guidelines that will help us plan around those imperfections and to help us progress. And that's exactly what Aligned Fitness Living is all about. So please, take the five-minute mindset. Let's get started today because you can do five minutes, right? You said it. I can do five minutes. I can do five minutes and five minutes does something. And if at the end of that five minutes you can keep going, you can do another five minutes, then do it up to three, okay? That's how you and I are going to get started right now. Now, you might be thinking, Mike, I'm already in a fitness program. Or I'm looking for something that's going to help me take me over there. That's okay. Let this be in addition to what you're doing right now. Maybe it's on your days off. Maybe it's just an extra walk in the evening time. I don't know, but let's you and I take this step together. And I've got more coming for you in video number two. Video number two is going to be really exciting because we're going to focus on food, eating, or what I like to call meal planning. Not a diet, but meal planning. I'm, I, I like to use that word because when you talk about meal planning, you're talking about something that's sustainable, okay? And when, when you're talking about a diet, you're talking about something that is temporary. So what we're going to talk about in the next video is how to move from diet dependency, okay, to fitness independence, Diet dependency means you're, you're always focused on you know, being on a diet and somebody else telling you what to do, where fitness independence is something that you have adopted guidelines-wise for yourself. I'm going to show you how the five-minute mindset can work for your meal planning as well. And I'm going to share with you the five secrets that I call fitness lifestylers, people that have adopted a fitness lifestyle, fitness lifestylers, the five secrets that they know when it comes to food that keeps them on track and keeps them lean and strong and happy and healthy. In the meantime, do me a favor. Will you do me a favor? Will you, you know, down below this video, there's probably a little area to like this video. Will you like it? And will you share with me? I want you to share with me what your biggest conflict is, your biggest challenge when it comes to health and fitness. 
type it in there in your comments. Let me know what your biggest challenges, your questions that you might have, because as we roll out this video series, I want to try to touch on those for you to the best of my ability. Uh, in the meantime, feel free, please. If you, if it, you know, fitness is such a big deal for so many people, and so many people struggle with it, and they don't have to. And, and if you think that the information that we're sharing right here, right now, could help somebody, share this video with them. Send them an email. Share it on your Facebook page. Whatever it might be. But give us a like. Let me comment with your biggest challenges and your questions. And please feel free to share this because part of aligning ourselves for a fitness lifestyle is aligning ourselves with a community of people that share the same mindsets, that share the same beliefs, that share the same goals and that's really important. We have to come together and, and, and help each other out. So please feel free to share this with, with your friends, with your family. In the meantime, you're going to hear me say this a lot. I'm going to be rooting you on because I'm your biggest fan. I really want to see us work together and, and, and get you to your goals and really help you live an aligned fitness lifestyle. I'll be rooting you on.